Today I will be showing you how I blend my short hair with my long queen C extensions. Short hair can be a little bit tricky just because you do not want any of these little short pieces to be hanging down. You want them to blend as natural as possible. And so today I'm gonna to show you how I achieve this. Now I do have my hair curled just a little bit just so whenever I have my extensions in it'll blend because I do have these already pre-curled. Today I will be using the Crown Jewel set in Kelly Balm. They were 20 inches and 160 grams originally, but we have cut them a little bit and layered them so that they will blend in with my hair even better. So I'm gonna start. The first thing I like to do is section my hair about right here. I come all the way back with my fingers. If you're more comfortable using a rat tail comb, you can. I just use my fingers because it's faster and I normally don't have five extra minutes to get ready in the morning. Not that that takes five minutes, but you know. So I'm just gonna clip this little piece up. So this is what the back section looks like. Some days I three strand braid this little section back here. Some days I just do a twist and some days I just pin it straight up. Today, I think I'm going to three strand braid it just so you can see how that is done because sometimes that can lay a little bit flatter to your head. So I'll show you how I do that. So the first weft I use is the two clip weft and that's because naturally your head is the smallest in width at the very bottom. So I use a smaller weft size and width which is our two clip. So there's two of those in each crown jewel set. I clip it in the very back right above where I've pinned up my hair. That way you have no little hairs hanging down. I'm going to go about an inch up for my next section parting the same way as it did before. Your parts don't have to be perfect. So as you go up your head, it gets a little bit wider and wider for each section that you take. So for this one, I will be using a three clip weft, which you get two in your set of crown jewels. So I'm going to do another section, about one more inch above that. And pin this up. So for this part, where your head gets wider, I'm going to try and wrap it all the way around. One piece I'm going to use is a four clip weft, which you also have two. And then my second two clip weft. It does not matter which side you use these on. If they do overlap, that's okay. So I'm going to put this one about an inch behind my hairline, just like that. And then on my four clip weft, I will start also at my hairline, about an inch back, and clip that all the way around. So I'm going to do another section. I'm going to do this layer similar to the last layer I just did. I will be using the second four clip weft and my second three clip weft. Once again, it does not matter which side you choose to do these on. So this side, I think I'm going to do the four clip and do it behind your hairline right here, which is about an inch. And I'm going to take this all the way around. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side with my three clip lift. I'm going to start right behind the hairline about an inch. Now in this section, my wefts did not overlap. 
Although everyone's head is shaped a little bit different, if yours does overlap, that's totally fine. So I'm gonna pull all of this down, part my hair like I normally do. On this side, I'm gonna take my finger and pull it up about right there. So on this side of my head, I only have one more piece to put in, which is a one clip weft. There are four of these in your set of crown jewels extensions. On this side, I will only be using one. So I'm gonna put it right here. Pull my hair back down. And then on this side, since I do part a little bit further over, there is more hair hanging. So I'm going to part a little bit higher, section it off. Put one piece kind of in the middle, just like that. Section another piece off. I'm gonna do mine about right there. And where this is a little bit heavier right here, I'm gonna put it right on the top of it. That way it covers that layer and your hair doesn't look as short on the top. So what that does is blend your hair in to where you're not going to be able to see your natural hair except for your very top layer. On our tutorial on how to put your crown jewels extensions in, it tells you to put it in at least two inches below your crown. On mine, since I do have a shorter top layer, I do bring it up a little bit higher. So if that ever shows, you can always tease the very back of your hair to hide your weft. I do this anyways, even if it doesn't show, just because I do like a little bit of height in mine. So I'm going all the way around the head, teasing it. I'm not teasing it much, just enough to get a little body. And if you need to, you can kind of smooth it out with your little Quincy brush. And all of my extensions are in except for one individual weft. And that's because I had more hair on this side and I needed two. And this side, I only needed one to fill in. So this is what the finished look looks like. And as you can see, there are no short layers coming through here, so there is nothing you have to hide. If you feel like you need to mist your hair with hairspray to get your natural hair to stay like this all day, that's fine too, but I'm not gonna spray mine today. I don't feel like it needs it. That is it, that's all you have to do. It's super easy. I do have mine blended and cut a little bit more just so they blend with my natural hair. If you want yours also done like this, you can take your whole set to a hairstylist who has experience with extensions and she can blend them for you. And that is all. So I hope you have a royally pampered day.